Time to shine. Good evening and welcome to your Sports Connection. Countless hours of layups, free throws, sprints, ball handling drills, and film study all come down to now for high school girls basketball players across the state as the UIL postseason kicks off. 14 games tonight for teams across our area. Nine tomorrow. We're going to kick things off with the number 15 team in all of 5A. That'd be Cooper Lady Pirates taking on Abilene Cooper Lady Cougars. Down in Snyder tonight, West Texas College is the host site for the by district matchup between the two former district rivals. Caitlin Edgman drives and gets the floater there early on to give the Lady Pirates the early lead. Merritt Tajay keeps it, lays it in. We have a tie game. Back and forth we go. Jenica Willis with the work, takes it down the court, hands it off to Larkins here. She hits a jumper and it's a Coors 4 2 lead. Kiana Kemp taking it down court. Hey Siegel stuffs her, gains possession, dishes it to McCauley Gregory, who lays it in 6 4. Cooper early. Edgman hits one herself, lays it in, and the Lady Cooper Pirates are moving on. They win this one pretty dominantly 63 39. Congratulations to the Lady Cooper Pirates. Level and Lobowetz taking on Dumas. Second quarter action we go. Kiara Graves with the runner. Plus the foul. Later in the quarter, Natalie Velardez from behind the arc. Level end up nine at the half. Second half we go. Velardez again for three. She hits a runner as well. And level end. Boy, this was just really not even a challenge. Coach Barnett gets win number 400. The Lobowets win this one 49 24. Estacado in action against Pampa, former district rivals. Miss. And then the finish there by Keanu Whitfield. Pampa playing some great defense here. Gets the steal. Madison Davis up the court to Savannah Valentine. Pampa again. It's Callan Burleson for three. Estacado, though, coming right back at you. Arai Hill gets the shot to go, and they win by one. Congratulations, Laddie Matz. 51 50 is your final. Bushland taking on Abernathy at Canyon High School. Bushland getting the offensive rebound. It's McKenna Morgan finishing for the Lady Falcons. On the offensive board this time, it's Sabrina Lovett with the putback. Lovett again on the other side. She gets a great defensive steal. And then the lay-in. And Abernathy's season comes to an end. They fall in the by district round 44-32. to Let's go to 3A. Spearman and Shallowwater facing off in Canyon. And Shallow Water getting the ball inside. Jenna Miller drives and scores. This time, it's Harris with the drive and the lay-in for the Phillies. They were in Fuego all night as well. Spearman getting some work done in the paint. Inside, Mia Pipkin. She gets the post and scores. Shallow Water just too much tonight. They go on to win this one, 50-32. New Deal taking on Bovina. First quarter. The three is uh, going to be no good here from Britton Hull. With the pull back there and then Hull. Doing some work here at the post. She hits the shot. Lady Lions off to a fast start. Second quarter, we go more offense for New Deal. It's Charlie Whitfield with the floater. And New Deal goes on to win this one as well. 73-49, not really much of a challenge there for the Lady Lions. To Coronado we go. 1A by district game between Morton and Crosbyton. Mains up 19-5 early, doesn't. Deter Crosbyton here. Guerrero with the three. And Audrey Marquez with the layup. A nine point game then. A three ball from the corner is going to end that run there for the Lady Chieftains. And it's Ashley Roberts. She's going to get the steal and the bucket. And then a dish off here. And it is going to be Morton, a winner. They're moving on 56 33. And the nightcap at Lorenzo facing Spring Lake Earth. This was a back and forth game as well. Lindsay Mendoza. With a three ball from the outside to get the scoring start in the game. Then Angel Darden with some work down low gets the layup. And the nice little bounce. Then Lopez for Lorenzo. Not just once, but twice. Lady Hornets go on to win this one by 12 pretty convincingly. 50 to 38. Let's get through some of these other scores for you real quick. It was Idaloo. They're proving why they're one of the top five teams in the state. They win big time over Mule Shoe. It was Sundown, a winner over Iran. Floyd Data falls to Vega. Van Horn falls to Seagraves, so congratulations to the Eagles there. 
And it was Smyer winning over McCamey. And finally, here we got Post. That's kind of a surprise there. Post falling to Farwell, so that was a convincing win there for the Steers.